Hey y'all, hope you guys are doing well. We have actually really nice light today and I'm working from home, so I figured I'd spend a little bit of time on my lunch break to pop in and do a detail and movement video of this full body silicone doll. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram, you might be aware uh, he's been for sale for quite a while. I think, I don't know if the problem is that he's you know, bald or the market just isn't great right now or timing issues. I've had a lot of people contact me with interest, but no one has purchased. So anyway, I wanted to do an updated um, detail and movement video because I have one from a while back when I was originally starting to sell him. But I figured, you know, I always like to send out these movement videos because it's faster than answering like a hundred separate messages with questions. I like to just address it all at one time and then just send people the link because it's easier and faster for me. But anyway, I have, I grabbed his COA here. So here's all of his information. This is a Joanna Gomes dolls doll <laughs> and the sculpt name is Riley. He's seven pounds, 14 ounces and 17 inches long. I would describe him as um, like as far as length, he's a smaller newborn, but weight wise, like he is kind of a chunk. Like he's, uh, fairly big. So I'd call him, you know, just like a good newborn size. So you can see Riley was sculpted, molded, and poured in silicone by Joanna Gomes. And he is a limited edition of 30. And he's almost smack dab in the middle. He's number 14 of 30. And then his artist, so his painter was Tiny Fingers and Tiny Toes Nursery. So uh, Tiffany Victor. And there's a care instruction page in here as well. So there's the care instructions. I wanted to show you a little bit of his movement. And then I might put the camera around like this will probably be in like multiple parts and I'll show you um, his details like super up close. But for now, I just kind of wanted to like pick him up, wiggle him around a little bit. So I rarely handle this doll, honestly. Um, I, I like full body silicone, so don't get me wrong, but I honestly, I just kind of prefer to look at them. I don't like to manhandle them too much, especially silicones. Not that they're like, I feel like some collectors act like they're made of glass. I mean, they're not. You can touch them and move them around, but I prefer to have dolls in like, you know, perfect condition. Um, so I don't really want to like mess around with him too much. I always like wash my hands before I touch him and things like that, just to make sure his matting stays in, you know, near perfect mint condition. So here I'll just kind of lift him up and wiggle his legs around a little bit. He is uh, made of Eek of 20, I believe. He's really soft. Um, he has no armatures, I'll point that out. So really soft, he's easy to move around. I'll just kind of twist him around here. Hopefully you guys can see all right. This is kind of a new camera setup for me. <laughs> um, no armatures in his arms either, but they're naturally sculpted to be, you know, quite bent. So you can see it's like, it's more than a 90 degree angle here. So you can put his arms up near his face like that. But like this arm, for example, since there's no armatures, if I wanted to move it, it's gonna flop back down. So you have to get a little bit creative in some of your photography, you know, prop it up with a blanket or hold it there, or, you know, whatever. Or contact an artist and have armatures installed, you know, whatever, whatever you'd like. Um, he's wearing an assembly diaper, which is a newborn size, I believe. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. I'm gonna lift him up and you can see his head kind of fall back. Again, I very rarely <laughs> manhandle my dolls like this, so it might look a little weird, but here I am just picking him up. You can see his head falls back. I'll just kind of move him up and down a little bit so you can see him move. Flip him like this. And I think I'm gonna take the camera down. Hopefully you guys can see again. I can't, you know, I can't see what's going on. I'm just recording this on my iPhone. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can see all right, but um, I'll take you down closer for a closer look in just a second here. So, so yeah, there's his, his movement. Um, I'll just kind of continue moving him around a little bit. <laughs> so you can see there's his arms. Um, here I'll, I'll squish him a little bit. 
His matting is in fabulous condition. Again, I don't touch this doll that much. I get a little, I feel a little weird. Like I'm always like, I don't want any like oils or anything for my hands to like mess him up. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a weirdo like that, I guess. Here, I'll, I'll squish his cheeks for you all. He has um, a tongue in there. And again, I'll take you down closer in a bit. This beautiful veining on the top of his head. You can like see his soft spot sculpted in there. He's a beautiful doll, so <laughs> if anyone is interested. Um, the best way to contact me is probably through Instagram. My account is private, but if you're a legitimate collector, um, I do kind of like uh, quote unquote screen people who request to follow me. So like I check and I see if you've made posts and if you actually collect dolls and things like that. But if you do, I mean, I always hit the yes, like to like say yes, you can follow. So, so yeah, I would say messaging me on Instagram is probably your best bet. But for now, I think that's gonna be the first part of this video done and I'm going to take you down closer and show you his details. All right, so you can see it's a quite sunny day here and I'm gonna take you down a little bit closer to show you his details. So starting with his face, he has these really beautiful scratches. So one here, one here, there's one on his chest we can look at. There's one right here near my, my finger. <laughs> there I am just moving his head around a little bit. On his chest, he has really beautiful mottling. Like you can see like the blue veining, the coloration, really, really nicely done. Um, the teeny tiny little scratch right here. More veining. I love how you can see like this little bone in his hand. All the little wrinkles. Here's his nails. Um, I live in a, well, you might have just seen my little cat <laughs> down on the side, but I, I do live in a pet friendly home. Um, I have cats, if that's a concern for you. Um, but the cats are never really like around the dolls unsupervised by any means. And a lot of times my dolls are in, you know, a separate room. So hopefully you can see the veining in his head. Maybe I'll take you down a little bit closer. It's right here is one of the veins. I'm gonna show you the top of his head in a bit. Here's the detail on his, the other top of his hand. So yeah, pet friendly home, but I do not smoke. So smoke free. I'm trying to think of any other relevant details, but of course, you know, buyers are always welcome to shoot me a message. Here's the top of one of his feet and the bottom. Oh, I guess I could show you, like, I don't know if this is helpful, because obviously we all have different skin tones, but he is just, I love his coloring. It's so beautiful. Here he is next to my hand. Here's the top of his other foot and the bottom. Um, his toes, let's see here. So this one, his big toe is separate, but all of these toes are together. Well, his pinky is kind of like half up, half down on this foot and then on this foot his big toe is separate but these are all together these two middle ones are like somewhat separated at the top I'd say but you know they're all in one piece and then hands obviously they're all separate so all the all the fingers no armatures, I think I already mentioned that. No drink and wet system. Here, let me just kind of move him around. You can see him at various angles. Oh, the lighting is kind of, <laughs> you gotta love iPhones, right? They like, I think they decide to just change when they want, which is a little obnoxious. There we go, I think it's back to normal. I'm just kind of spinning the bassinet here around so you can see him at all angles. 
All right, and then I'm gonna pause this for another second and flip him over and show you his back. Okay, I flipped him over and now I'm gonna show you his back. Um, I just wanted to clarify, I am going to keep his diaper on this entire time, but he's um, an anatomically correct male. So you can see here. And the reason I'm not going to take it off is just because <laughs> I don't know who's watching these videos. Y you never know. So I just, you know, personal preference, <laughs> I prefer to never take their diapers off, but he is anatomically correct. So here's the back of his feet. Again, you can see the veining in his foot. I love, love all these details. So beautiful, like beautiful mottling all along here. So there's his little feet and the back of his legs. The back, lots of veining, lots of color. Like, I just love all the variations in his painting. I feel like it's sometimes hard to capture that in silicone. Um, so his matting, like I said, it's pretty much perfect, but this is the only area I can see and it's not sticky or anything. It just looks a little bit like, like it almost looks like dry skin. And I'm not like the most experienced silicone collector in the world, so I'm not sure how to describe this, <laughs> but here's what it looks like. And then like you can see how his like skin, his silicone wrinkles up right here. Really beautiful. Back of his head. He is bald, obviously, but has never been rooted, so. Oops, let me move this. Wow, I am not doing a great job of moving this blanket. Um, you can see, like, the structure of his skull. Like, you can feel it. Well, you can't feel it, but I can try to show you all the detail in the back of his head. This veining, if you can see it, it kind of goes like, looks like a big Y almost. And then I might move you one more time and I'll show you the inside of his mouth if I can, if I can manage it. <laughs> okay, we're in a different spot in the room now, so not directly by the window anymore. Um, but this is a good um, opportunity to see his painting in different lighting settings. And I realized I never showed you his ears very well. Now I've been testing around with this iPhone and I feel like when I go in, like... It gets all dark and weird in the lighting, so we might switch over in a second. Yeah, see, look, that's so weird. I hate iPhones. Anyway, I don't have a better camera, so <laughs> here's a look at one of his ears and his side profile. And then we'll take a look at the other side. Let's see if the light will, like, fix itself. No, <laughs> it's not going to. I wonder if... Whatever. Okay, let's take a look at his other ear. So here's the ear on the other side of his face side profile and then let's see if I can do the inside of the mouth I've done it before but um <laughs> I think it's gonna be too dark but he does have a tongue in there it's all painted and things like that so yeah it's it's gonna be difficult <laughs> but he does have that detail. Um, I, it's very, very, very rare that I use pacifiers for my dolls. So um, all the painting in there should be intact and good to go. I wonder if this will switch to <laughs> better lighting or if it'll stay all dark and make him look weird and gray. But I promise you he's not. Like, it's, see, it's even making my skin look really weird. Whatever. <laughs> I don't even know guys I'll try to take uh, more pictures but for anyone who's interested again feel free to message me on Instagram it's Anne underscore little underscore nursery I'm fine with layaway I'm open to discussing prices like I said like he's been on the market for quite a while I mean I don't like I'm not like advertising him every single day so but I feel like enough people know and enough people have messaged me but no one has purchased so who knows? I, you know, I think he's a beautiful doll, so I'm happy to hold on to him, but yeah, fine with layaway. I just like to, I'd prefer to downsize my collection, and as soon as he sells, I will have a slew of <laughs> some of the vinyls in my collection for sale, so I just prefer to sell one at a time, because selling a lot at once can be really overwhelming. <laughs> But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of this doll's details, um, and if you're interested...
obviously feel free to message me. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.